The American combat base at Khe San is opened in September of 1966 to serve as a strategic keystone in the attempt to cut the Ho Chi Minh Trail and separate the guerrilla forces of the South from their North Vietnamese support. Dominating the rugged hillsides 14 miles south of the demilitarized zone, Khe San controls the major east-west road in the area, as well as the Laotian border. Both sides understand the significance of this outpost, and the North Vietnamese army are keen to take it, diverting troops from the trail into prepared positions in the Khe San Hills in preparation for a major offensive. The NVA preparations are discovered, mostly by luck, in the spring of 1967, and the communists are forced to attack several months earlier than originally expected. The Marines successfully defend Khe San against the premature attack, then mount an offensive of their own, designed to clear the NVA from the hills overlooking the base. The battles rage night and day, through heavy rains, as the Marines encounter heavily fortified NVA positions and use mortars, artillery, and airstrikes to pound them into mud. After weeks of fierce fighting, the Khe San Hills are finally freed from NVA control. Khe San is too great a prize for the NVA to let it go after a single battle, and the North Vietnamese leadership direct their forces to reassemble in the area soon after the hill fights are concluded. Within less than a year, Khe San will once again be the focus of a major offensive. Dear son, I got your last letter and I'm relieved that you are okay. We hadn't heard from you in a while. I know you have been out in the field and unable to ride home, but your mother was very worried, and hearing from you put a smile back on her face. Having both of our sons over in Vietnam isn't easy on either one of us. I'm glad to hear you're headed to Khe San. As you know, Jamie's posted there as well. He's met some of the guys from your old unit, Greaser, Smooth, and the rest, and he says they speak highly of you. Jamie hasn't written home very much. Boot camp was tough on him, and I don't think he's got the toughness that you have. I'm proud he didn't try to dodge out of his responsibilities like some of his lousy friends, but I can't say I'm happy to have him over there. To be honest, I worry about him a lot more than I did when you first went over. Please try to keep an eye on him. I've been in combat, and I know it's the guys with the bad attitudes that get killed the quickest, especially if nobody's looking out for them. Please be careful, and remember that your mother and I miss you both very much. Sincerely, Dad. Shit, Shepard, you thought those Arvin dudes were flaky? Wait till you get out in the bush with your little brother. Gives black folk a bad name. He's a real head case, man. Uh, he just hasn't got the nom figured out yet. Dumbass gets stoned right before going out on patrol and then locks up under fire. Makes everyone else nervous, too. They, they all hate being out in the bush with him. Hell, I I'd be lying if I said the little shitbird didn't make me a bit nervous, too. Tighten up time, ladies. Shepard, I want you to take a patrol to the upper ridge line. We've been getting reports about NVA activity along that ridge, and I want you men to go up there and sniff around. Establish an FOP on the ridge and report back. Move out. Oh, and Shepard, take your little brother with you. He's up there with one of the mortar crews. I guess we'll get a chance to see your brother in action after all. Lucky us. Damn, that's all we got? We need another few boxes, 81s. Jesus Christ, careful with that box, boy. Oh, man, sorry about that. Sorry? Shit, you're gonna blow us all the hell and all you can say is sorry? Chill out, guys, everyone just chill out. It's cool. Hey, 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 hey. You guys mind if we take little Shepard off your hands? Hey, no problem. He's all yours. Stupid little shit. Where are we headed? We gotta set up an observation post on the ridge line. 
You know where your rifle is, Jamie? Yeah, sure. Let me go get it. Okay, let's roll out. Lock and load, shit burner. Try not to shoot old Hoss in the ass. Chuck dudes, all the same, man. It, it don't matter what I do. Shit. Hey, you guys ever think about what the hell we doing here? I mean, what's the fucking point? What's Charlie ever done Charlie to me? didn't drop the case of mortar shells back there and almost blow everyone up. Your ass did. Man, just like the rest of them. Uh, fuck that. Those crackers back there can kiss my ass. This whole country can kiss my black ass. Difference between me and you is I understand the situation. You don't. Out here, you watch each other's back or you don't make it out alive. Whatever kind of beef you have with any of those mothers, you leave the shit in the rear. You don't take that shit out in the bush with you. This guy's NBA! Number one, man! Try my Adao, huh? No, my Len! Chuhoi! Chuhoi! Give nah, me no six! No Chuhoi for you, Charlie. Tell us where your friends are. Odao! Odao! Fuck you, Chuhoi! Two dead Viet Cong, one injured NVA. The injured gooner's holding his guts in with his hands. He's not gonna make it unless we get him out of here ASAP. Six, three, we just lost the NVA. Scratch the medevac. Awaiting orders. Continue to the ridge line and set up that observation post. I'll send a patrol down to collect the KIAs. Copy that, Six. Out. All right, let's go. Set your 16 on rock and roll, shitbird. And try not to shoot one of us. They might be trying to send an ambush. Let's go!
Line should be just up ahead. Let's move out.
cover! Shepard, if you can get close enough to those bunkers, I can hold it. I can hold the strike. Get moving! those bunkers, but it's much too hot for us to stamp on this hill without reinforcements. Over. Negative on those reinforcements, three. We can't spare the people. You get back down here on the double. I sent a patrol down to the KIAs along the screen bed. You stop by there and see if they turned up any intel. There's six out. Copy that, six. See you soon. Let's get back to the stream bed. Hey, shit burner. We get another firefight and I don't see you firing your rifle. I'll take it away from you. I shit you not. Leave the kid alone. No, that kid is gonna get us all greased. Man, this whole situation sucks. You don't got to like it, baby. But when push comes to shove, you got to react. It's all about survival. Yours and ours. Fire target Alpha Delta. Come on, people, feed those tubes. Outstanding work, men. Ah, shit! This tube 
is burning up. Hodges, get over there and cool that tube off. Sir? Piss on it, Hodges. Piss on it. Let's go. Don't be shy. Yes, sir. A little cold out here, Hodges? I never heard any complaints from your mama, asshole. Six, Listen up. We've been getting reports about another large NVA patrol that's moving down on us from the north. Take some claymores, get down to the stream bed, and set up an ambush. Dismissed. Let's put those rounds out, men. This storm's gonna break in a minute now. Once those increments get wet, those shells will be falling short. Let's set up the ambush right over there in the middle of that pool. They're probably coming up right through here. All right, let's get to cover and wait for the patrol. Shepard, follow me.
Dear Mom and Dad, just wanted to send you a quick note to let you know Jamie and I are fine. You'll probably hear about the fighting around Khe Sanh before you get my letter. There's a horde of North Vietnamese troops all over the hills here, enough to plan something pretty big. We stumbled across them a few days ago and been humping the hills looking for them ever since. When we locate a group, we usually just shell them hard with guns from the base, then come through and sweep up what's left. Jamie and I have been together, and I'm keeping an eye on him. The guys give him a lot of hell, but he's started to pull his weight, and with luck, he'll end up a good Marine. Besides, our commanding officer, Captain Dandridge, runs a pretty tight ship up here. And sorry about the state of this letter, but the weather's been terrible. I've never seen so much mud. I'll write again as soon as I get a chance. Try not to worry about either of us. Love, Dean.